Hello everyone, we are going to make an Easter pig puppet, just like this one here. It looks like an egg, but then when you squeeze down on it, you can see there's a chick inside. Did you see that? Egg, chick, egg, chick. Nice. To do this, you are going to need a wooden clothes peg, which you should have got in your Easter activity pack. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you are going to need some glue or some double sided sticky tape like I'm using here. Now, last but never least, of course, you need the, the Easter activity pack sheet for you to work this through. We've given you two designs. You can use these two different colored ones or you can have fun designing your own egg. And we've also given you some chicks and some T-Rexes to put inside them, depending on which you prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out my egg. There we go. Snip, snip. I like to cut out the whole egg first, roughly, and then do the detailed cutting. That way I find I can do it a little bit neater. Okay, that's my egg cut out. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna cut out the zigzag line of the crack to make it able to open. Okay, it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to work. There we go. So we have a cracked egg. Now I need to cut out my little chick. Hello there, little chick. Let's cut him out roughly first and then cut it in detail after. Go around the outside. There we go. We have a little chick and we have our egg. There we are. They're all ready to go then. Now, I need to cut myself some strips of sticky tape or you need to get your glue ready to attach the egg and the chick to the clip. Finding the end of the tape is always the first game we play whenever we use tape, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna cut off a small amount like this. I don't need loads. And then I'm gonna cut that into three smaller strips. I'm just gonna pop them there just to keep them safe so I don't lose them while I'm doing this job. I've actually, even though I didn't cut much there, did you see, I've still got too many. I'm gonna save one of those for later, that one. I'll keep that down there for later. Now, here is where I'm, let's show you with this one first. Can you see how on this one that I've already made, uh, the egg is attached to the front of the, paper, of the um, clothes peg and the chick is attached to the back of it. That way, when it opens, it looks like he's hiding inside. Can you see? So let's do that, shall we? On the front of our clothes peg, I'm gonna attach this double-sided tape. And then to the back of the clothes peg, I will attach the sticky tape for our little chick. Now you don't wanna rush doing this, because this is the bit that actually determines the, <laughs> the success or failure of your project. So take your time, ask a grown-up for help if you need a ton. And uh, here we go. So I've got my backing paper off my sticky tape. My sticky tape is in place. Let me put the bottom of the egg here. And I'm gonna put the top of the egg here. Do this while your, your jaws, as it were, of the um, uh, clothes peg is closed. Because that way it opens and closes nicely, exactly right. Oh, I've crunched me ends, look. There we go, that's opening and closing nicely. And then on the back of this, I'm gonna hide our tiny chick. Now, careful not to have him too high because the clothes peg doesn't open very much so you can get an idea of where you need to be able to display him so that he can still be seen when the jaws of the paper clip are open. Okay. I really have crunched the end of my egg there. Sorry, egg. I can just encourage those back forwards again. And now look, I have got an egg which opens and closes and has a little chick inside. So you could make yours with a chick or you can make yours with a little tiny T-Rex. You could put any animal that is born out of an egg 
inside your egg. So have a go at decorating an egg for yourself and maybe even design your own character to go inside it. Then if you want to send us a photo of what you've done, we'd love to see it. You could just send it to children at kingdoffaith.com. Hey, have loads of fun making your Easter peg puppets. And I pray that over Easter, God's grace and his peace would be with you. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.